You're watching the media news. Now, at the National Assembly, a bill seeking, um, a bill seeking the establishment of the National Terrorism Center for the Coordination of Counterterrorism Policies and Terrorism Financing has passed third reading in the House of Representatives. The bill is one of the four executive bills passed by the House at Wednesday, Wednesday's plenary. A National Assembly correspondent, Jokadisa, reports. President Mohamedou Buhari on the 14th of March wrote the National Assembly requesting the passage of four bills bordering on terrorism, money laundering, public interest disclosure and protection for witnesses against graft. Nigeria risks the sledgehammer of the international community if it fails to pass these bills within a stipulated deadline. This is why the lawmakers convened this sitting. A short closed-door meeting ensued, after which they went into the day's business. In quick succession, the bills were taken through the first, second and third readings. Terrorism financing, proliferation and financing of the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction in Nigeria and for related matters, HB 1980, be read the second time. At the Committee of the Whole, all the bills are considered and passed. Seeks to achieve is to bring the anti-money laundering laws in Nigeria to be in tandem with international best practice. The bills are Terrorism Prohibition and Prevention Act, Repeal and Enactment Bill 2022, Money Laundering Prohibition Act, Repeal and Enactment Bill 2022, Witness Protection Management Bill 2022, and Public Interest and Disclosure and Protection Bill 2022. Outside the chambers, the spokesman of the House, Benjamin Kalu, sheds more light on the intent of the bills passed. To make sure that most nations, especially as a member of the Committee of Nations, that they are judged all favorably as those who are making efforts towards ending corruption. I'm sure this will increase the rating when it is of this country before the eyes of the Transparency International when we implement this instrument the way it ought to be. Ahead the primary elections of political parties, the House has now embarked on a three-week break to resume on the 24th of May, 2022. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.